my god! Wow, this is a really strong camera. This was the other camera that I used to film the earlier film er, earlier footage of this show. I would the, the camera would have been toasted by now. There, okay, that's good. All right, let's begin the. Uh, let's put these pins in there. I still have my glove here. This is all mostly from the river. Uh, didn't go to school at all today, so this is all like downtown. This is all downtown trash. All downtown the stuff. Like I said, I love finding bags because it's just what is this? This bag, uh, this bag is toasted, so this bag is toasted, ripped, so I don't think you can recycle that though. Oh man, even with the mask on, this stuff stinks. Oh, some asshole named uh, Martin Martin uh, Kirkmar of Martin Kirkmar of. Fuck you, Street, Calgary, Alberta. King Feller at iCloud.com. Let's see. He wants his interesting resume. Grade twelve. Ju uh, grade twelve. He graduated in 2012. Uh, he has skills and attribute abilities: mechanical inclined, automotive skills, carpentry, roofing, line production experience, laborer, BTI. From March 14 to uh, from March um, 2014 to 2015, so he says he's he's a young retarded teenager. So Martin Kirkmar, you are a dumb fucking shit. Uh, yeah. See, basically, more Martin Kirkmar, more Martin Kirkmar. Uh, resumes. Little fast, a little bastard couldn't get a good job, so. Martin Kirkmar, 403-472-0010, you are a fucking moron, you are a little shit who can't do a good job, and your name is King Fowler at iCloud, I, King Fowler at iCloud.com, let's take a look at this, maybe, we, maybe you guys out there in the, in the, sh put in zoom there, Maybe you, ask, maybe you guys can figure out who this asshole is. King Failer at iCloud.com. You guys can find out who this little shit is. Thank you for littering. You are a moron. Okay, get back to the clothing here. So we figure out that these clothing has no, have no uh, association with uh, drug needles. Um, throw this back to the side. Look, this is all just from, from newspapers and this is just from the, in the five weeks of our show we're doing this. Let's see. This is, oh well, whatever. I need to feel around to make sure it's still working. Zipper still works. Oh, Tim Horton's bag, we can recycle that. It's a nice shack. It's covered in coffee and stuff, so covered in coffee stains, so we have to uh we So basically we have to make sure that uh this shack still works. The zipper still works, I hope. Zipper still works. Okay. That's the main. Uh, that's the main fastener. Nothing on the side. No drugs on this side. If it did, if I did, then I'd be covered in AIDS. AIDS slime by now. 
It's just, co just covered in coffee stains. They can be washed, they can be bleached, they can be whatever. Um, yeah. Alright, so I'll put that. You know the story of stuff? You want to, we want to reduce the amount of materials that's wasted to make stuff. To do that, we conserve our... We conserve. This jacket, <coughs> this homeless person's jacket, or hoodie, it's covered in dirt and sweat and, yeah, just basically dirt and sweat. No needles, no needles, because I found those five, those four drug needles and we gave them to the Alpha House this morning, remember, or this afternoon, remember? Spent at least four hours out here. So this is like four hours worth of work that we've, uh, Manage to salvage, salvage this. Maybe we'll wash it tonight. Who knows what we can do tonight? Okay. Side and side is okay. I'm not sure how these things get so dirty. Like, I mean, what do you guys do? What, what do the last owners do with these things? Roll around in the mud or something? Mud wrestle. Played a bunch of zombies from Fallout or Half Life and well not Half Life, um what's that thing called? Uh Last Left Behind or Last of Us Left Behind. Left for Dead, Left for Dead. Okay. This one may be tricky. Yeah, the bus the zipper's stuck. Okay, I guess this one's, this one's, uh, has a zipper stuck on this one. No, let's give it a try again. So you to re retry. Don't give up on anything. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on anything. Don't give up on me. Don't give up on you. Don't give up on Earth. Don't give up on your parents. Never give up on yourself, you know. Don't, I will never give up on you. Yeah. See? Don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Salvage this? Is this see, this is very dirty, so it needs to be really clean. Now, the first one with the bug on it. Everything looks okay now. That. See, that's pretty much 15 minutes of work already. 15 minutes of work and we've saved. We've saved the producti productivity of uh, production of value of earth, earth, earth goods. Alright, the zipper works. Now we got to wash off the trestles and bugs. So, the bug hammer. Everything looks okay. My roommate has a skin condition, so you have to be very careful to wash this. Okay, so you wipe off. We'll come back later, as I'm making dinner right now, so we'll come back later and totally, totally wipe it down. So that's environmentalism. Playing around in the dirt, preserving the dirt. The purity of the dirt is a, a dirty job. But someone's got to do it, right? So we just got a comb or something, or maybe just got the broom. Yeah, I got the broom. Broke up the broom, got the broom, and what uh, he did with the axe jacket. Well, I'm going to stir the I'm going to stir the pot. Uh, next video, we're going to be washing these clothing, and uh, in a few minutes, I'll be washing these clothing and washing this jacket. 
thanks for all the uh, people in Calgary uh, thanking, uh, uh, giving me words of encouragement to clean this trash up. Uh, like I said, it really means a lot to me because it's, it's a really booster. I mean, it's like my, uh, it's like my, uh, it's like you saying that my, that I have worth, my, my activities here have worth. Lots of people saying thank you. Hey buddy, thank you for cleaning that up. I'm your buddy, you're my buddy, thank you.